okay? <laughs> I keep saying okay because I'm I always get a little like weird with intros and it's funny because this <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lindsay, and please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, and make sure to hit that subscribe button and my notification bell right under this video somewhere before you leave so you can see all of my upcoming videos and know when I am posting. Today, I have a really, really, really exciting video. I actually try recording this um, right after Christmas, like a couple days after Christmas, but um, the lighting was terrible and I felt rushed because the sun was going down and it just it was kind of a mess so I have swatched a couple of these um, eyeshadows before so when I open up the palettes and show you if you see a few like two or three of the shades swatched I'm not lying to you I have opened them sorry I'm still sick <laughs> I'm not messing with this review um, I have never used any of these eyeshadows on my lids um, I'm gonna put down here what it retails for and what it's worth because I know you're gonna see the sticker but that's not how much it was so I'm, I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys Ooh, it's heavy <laughs> kind of this is what I got for Christmas this was my big gift it is the I heart revolution chocolate vault Chocolate Vault? Yeah, hold on, let me see this thing. There was a sticker on it and it came off because obviously I opened it for Christmas. This was on it and it says I Heart Revolution Chocolate Vault gift contains and it says like the names of all six of the palettes and the two face palettes and the three lip glosses if anyone cares about that. So I'm going to be talking about the product and swatching the product for you. I am not going to be doing an eye look. Sorry, I'm all congested. But if you would like to see me use one or maybe even two of these palettes for an eye look in a future video, just let me know and I would love to do that for you guys because I kind of really, really, really already want to do that for you guys, but like I want to know what you guys want as well. So let me know, okay? This is what the box looks like. To give you perspective, this is how big it is. Like this is longer than my torso, like up to my shoulder to here. Like this is huge have this box and then you pop it open like a pizza like a, like a pizza the crusty crazy yeah 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 pizza is the pizza yeah for you and me sorry my childhood all right so you pop it open and you have all of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging. I love it. This isn't how it originally came. I don't know the order that they put the palettes in, but obviously I took them out to look at them and try and film it last time. So I just put them back in for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry this video is all a mess. I'm sorry. But it's still genuine because I haven't used any of these palettes on my eyes and I haven't even swatched all of them to be honest. So and you see you have your six eyeshadow palettes and then you have your two face palettes, and then you have your three lip glosses, which is really, really cool. I have to burp. Uh, excuse me. The first palette that we have is the Macaroon palette from I Heart Revolution. This is all I Heart Revolution, obviously, but just reminding you guys, this is the name Macaroon, which is super, super cute. Just to, just to get off topic real quick, um, whenever... So I'm a hyperactive person. Um, if you live with me, aka Aaron, I'm sorry. Um, I am hyperactive majority of the time. And I say, and I make weird noises and I say random things that don't make sense. And I don't even know where I get them from. I just say them. And there's been several, several, several times that Aaron can vouch for me that we're laying in bed or we're on the couch or we're just hanging out. And I'll come up to him and I'm just like, macaroon, macaroon, macaroon. Like, I don't know what it is. And I wish he was awake right now to like talk about it because he would roast me. And I don't know why. I don't even think I've ever ate a macaroon. I don't know. But anyways, I just thought it was cute because ironically it's called macaroon. Um, and I thought that was really cute because, you know, like, I don't know. It just reminds me of me being annoying to Aaron. This palette is huh, absolutely beautiful. So here's the packaging, obviously. And bam. There we go. So this palette is absolutely 
probably one of my, I have like three top favorites. I'm just going to say that. I already know that right now. This is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of the sea um, and the ocean and shells and mermaids. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I have swatched a few of the shimmery shades and I'm going to take a clip of me swatching all of the shades for you guys. And, um... These are absolutely like they seem like they're gonna blend well. They seem pigmented, so I have I have some high hopes. I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm so sorry. I have some high hopes for this palette and a few of the palettes in here. So yes, here's a little swashy swashy. By the way, this is a drugstore brand, so for them to do a vault like this for only 40 pounds and it's worth a hundred that's amazing also the quality of this drugstore brand is really good is it my favorite it's probably not gonna be my favorite drugstore eyeshadow if I'm being honest but I think it's definitely gonna be up there in all honesty very beautiful one of my absolute favorites all right moving on just keep moving on Next is this lovely palette. I love, love, love the cranberry, like, maroon vibes it's got going on. This is Cranberries and Chocolate. So we're going to open up my bag, baby. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I absolutely love reds and burgundies and just maroon, like, all of that. All of that. I love colors like this, and I love how you have your set colors for like your outer corner and your crease and setting it and like a highlight um for your brow bone and inner corner like you have like your essential colors in this and that's what's really important to me and i love the shimmers i love the matte i just i love the aesthetic of this palette it's absolutely beautiful um and i can't wait to play around with it i do have a lot of shades that are similar to this but i do think it is worth giving it a shot and playing around with it oh my god this is one of my so i have like three top favorites I'll tell you guys at the end, but you're probably already going to know because I can't keep my mouth shut about makeup. So this one, oh my god. Um, just look at the packaging. Can we just appreciate it for a second? Like, it's like a bubblegum pastel pink and I'm in love. This is strawberry cheesecake. I've actually never had cheesecake and everyone roasts me for it, but my mom loves it. I've never had it. Everyone, most people I know love it. I've just, I don't know. It just sounds gross. Cheese and cake. Should it really go together? I don't know. Um, but anyways, this is my favorite packaging out of all of this collection. I mean, all of the packaging is amazing, but this is definitely, definitely my favorite. Um, I was never a huge fan of pink growing up, but the older I've gotten, I've fallen in love with the color pastel pink. My favorite color is still green, okay? But definitely this is one of my top colors now as I've gotten older. I just, I just love it. It's like a pastel muted pink and I love it. Oh, a bird. Sorry. This is what strawberry cheesecake looks like. Oh my goodness. It almost reminds me a little bit of the nude palette from, was, is it Natasha Denona or Huda? No, it's Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty um, just came out with a nude palette. This is almost like not the same at all, but it looks like the aesthetic is a little similar with the shimmers and the pinks and all that stuff. Um, I don't know if it would be a dupe for it. I don't have the Huda palette because those are expensive. So if I had it, I would do like a comparison, but I can't, so I'm sorry. But if you have one, buy this. This is affordable and maybe compare them yourself. I don't know. This palette is also one of my favorites because I don't typically wear pinks on my lids at all. These pinks, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, beautiful. Like, that's a drugstore brand. Then you have this color slice, let me see. Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god, and I'm blending it, and look how it's blending out. Hopefully that's the same on the lids. That's a drugstore brand. Next is oh, s'mores. Who doesn't love s'mores? Am I right? Am I right? Aren't you guys proud of me? I actually painted my nails for this video because I've noticed in my videos my nails always look hit. Even if they're clean, they're just like long and they just like meh. So yeah, I did that for you guys because I was like, wow, they're going to be staring at my fingers. Like I don't want to like destroy their eyes again. So <laughs> this is called s'mores. Um, and then you open it up and this. Oh yeah. If you 
are an everyday, natural, subtle makeup lover, or maybe if you're not, um, oh my god, this is the palette for you. I, the second I opened this, I looked at Erin on Christmas, and I was like, this is going to be my new, everyday, go-to makeup palette, hands down. So, this, it just has, like, everything you need, like, all of these mattes, like, just everything you need, and these beautiful shimmers, like, oh my god, like, like, seriously? Like, bitch, what? <laughs> and you guys are watching me, like, you're watching me do this. <laughs> like what oh my god I can't believe that this is affordable so I definitely think whether you guys comment or not because you guys don't really ever oh a spider you guys don't ever really comment back okay and I wish you guys would comment on my videos more I want I'm trying to like include you guys more and have you guys participate in the comments and I'm trying to be more active in the comments but I guess it's just you know it takes time but whether you guys want me to or not, I am definitely doing an everyday bronzy look with this palette. All of these palettes smell faintly like chocolate. Like, it's not an annoying smell that's going to give you a headache or make you feel like, ew, gross. You know what I mean? It's not too sweet. It's like very fainted, almost like a cocoa, like, smell. And it just, everything smells good. So, just saying that. I forgot to mention that. Next is Salted Caramel. Uh, just the name of this makes me so hungry. I love salted caramel. Anything like pretzels or like froyo, it's just so 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 good. So this is salted caramel, and you open it up, and whoa. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little judgy. I am. Okay. First of all, if you've noticed, all of the palettes that I've showed you guys comes with the names like underneath the shade, and I don't know why. Because I feel like if you include this in a vault, it could have been like um, a factory like mishap, you know, that happens. So they did include the names on this thing, which means from now on I have to keep this or like tape it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it to the mirror or like behind it or something. Because I like to know the names of the shadows and yeah, so I have this to reference it. But it's just a little weird that's the only one that doesn't have the names of the shadows on it. Also, this palette, if you look up close, if you guys are a big fan of Too Faced and you know their products, this looks like a knockoff, like, or dupe, depending on the quality, I don't know yet, of um, Too Faced Bonbons palette. Chocolate Bonbons? I don't have it, but I've seen it in stores millions of times, and I've swatched it in stores millions of times, and you have, like, your two, like, bar like longer highlight shadows and then you have this pop of blue and it makes me think of the chocolate bonbons palette by Too Faced. So this could be a dupe or it could be a knockoff depending on the quality. I don't know. I also don't have the bonbons palette. In the future I would love to have the bonbons palette and compare these two. That'd be amazing. But uh, um, I'm just going to swatch and show you guys because I swatched this palette last time I tried filming this and I'm just going to show you guys. So that's a beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful, all right. Now we're gonna try this pink color. Just watch. It's like a pastel shimmery pink. Do you see that? Cause I don't, like barely. And it has like a weird like feeling to it. Like if you see this, it just looks like it got wet or damaged or like maybe I should scrape it or something. I feel like there's gonna be two or three shades in here that are going to be pigmented and they're going to look good and they're going to blend well but everything else I feel like you're just not going to get payoff from so yeah I'm going to be honest I love this collection so far I haven't tried anything on my lids but everything that I've swatched I've loved and I just have a good feeling about and you know I just I really think that it's going to do well but the salted caramel palette is my least favorite one the whole name thing just like threw me off and it's not a big deal like if this palette like worked phenomenous Phenomenous, phenom phenomenally, then I wouldn't have a problem with the name thing, but I think the name thing just kind of is like the cherry on top, and it just doesn't do it for me. Like, I'm gonna give it a chance, and I'm gonna try it on my lids, and maybe I'll do like a live stream on here or my Facebook Live page, which I will put that down here and in the description below. I just, I just have a feeling it's just not gonna do it on the lids for me. I'm gonna give it a fair shot. Next is this really cute palette. This is Lemon Drizzle. That is such a cute name. Like, what the heck? We're gonna open this baby! Ah! Oh my god. 
Oh my god, it's absolutely stunning. This is definitely one of my favorites as well. I said I have three favorites, but I honestly, I think I really like this one too. So this one does remind me of the Jaclyn Hill, the Volt um, Ring, the Alarm palette. I don't have that palette. I actually only have two palettes from her Volt collection. I have Dark Magic and Bling Boss. Um, I still want the other ones, but I just didn't rush to buy them because I have other colors in those palettes that she came out with. But anyways, um, this reminds me of her Ring the Alarm palette without like the purple. Um, I just feel like the yellows in this like area like reminds me of her palette. See, see this formula like feels so good. I don't know what happened with the other. Ah! I don't know what happened with the other palette, Salted Caramel. I don't know what went wrong with it. Like look at that. Something must have gone wrong, like, in the factory or something. I don't know, because it's just not the same quality as the other palettes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. If I could just, like, marry makeup. I'm sorry, Erin. I would. So, overall, I still have a couple things to show you guys. But overall, for the palettes, I think that the packaging, A+. I think the formula... As far as swatching goes, I definitely think it's like a B, B plus, but until I try it on my eyes, I don't want to say um, anything yet. So I will definitely do videos in the future using these eye palettes. Let me know in the comments below which ones you want me to review in a video on my eyes. Like I'm reviewing them now, but like on my eyes. Like there's six of them. So that's a lot of videos you guys could give me to do. But I definitely think um, there's a couple of these that I really, really want to review, and then there's a couple that are like, eh, or there's some that maybe I don't need to review on here, but I could do on Instagram or Snapchat or something, or my Facebook Live page. So anyways, we're going to move into the face products, and these are so cute. Oh my god, these are so absolutely cute. These are the face products that this collection came with. There's Chocolate Strawberry and pra Praline, Praline. I don't know how to pronounce that, don't judge me. Um, but these are absolutely cute. I love how small and compact they are, and the packaging is absolutely cute. So, this is chocolate strawberry. I just spit, I think. I'm sorry if you saw that. You open it up, and ah, obviously I've swatched this. Um, both of them. So, here we go. This one, absolutely beautiful. And this is like a blush, blush topper, like pink highlight type of vibe going on. Um, absolutely beautiful and then we have this one which is like a bronzer contour and if it's too dark for you you can always use it as an eyeshadow um, this formula for the blush and this contour bronzer whatever it feels very very smooth it feels a little buttery but very 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 smooth this I have tried on my cheeks as like a blush topper absolutely gorgeous and I have oily skin so if you have oily skin a little goes a long way it's, it's pretty shiny it's not like sparkly or glittery or chunky but it's it's very shiny like a highlight a highlight this one uh, I've been using this a lot and I use it today actually but the lighting is pretty terrible so I'm sorry but that's like my highlight and stuff so this one can't pronounce but the packaging super super cute um, open please um, you have a highlight and then you have your like blush highlight topper thing going on so obviously I've swatched these absolutely beautiful oh my god I've been wearing that I've been wearing that a lot and then this highlight I thought I was gonna hate it because it's so white but oh my god it's beautiful absolutely beautiful I feel like you could use this on your eyes too but yeah, this highlight is on my nose right now and my cheeks. I didn't put a lot on my cheeks because I'm actually wearing no foundation. I'm wearing um, this like sheer powder just to like help, you know, my face going on. But this is absolutely gorgeous. So if you have like a lighter skin tone, you're going to really like this one. A medium to deep skin tone, you're really going to like this one. All right, so lastly, we are almost done, people, I swear. And then I will be gone. I will leave you alone. All right, lastly, we have lip products. And if you guys know me, you know that lip products are like my favorite. I have so many lip products, it's terrible. Sorry. <laughs> so it came with three lip glosses and they are so freaking cute. Oh God, oh God. 
So these are the three lip glosses. This one is more like a nudie pink, and this one's more of a everyday pink, and this one is a cranberry with some shimmer in it. So I'm gonna swatch them. This one is called Salted Caramel, and this is the more um, nudie pink. I'm sorry, this is not working out how I expected it to. So that's like the nudie pink. You know, let me let me just try that again. I'm not good at, at swatching these lip products, I'm sorry. Um, so that's like a nudie pink. And this one is Praline, Praline, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna swatch that. I'm not good at swatching lip glosses, it's a little messy. Um, they're not runny though, and they're, they don't feel very sticky. So this one is Chocolate Cherry. This one is definitely like a cranberry cherry chocolate um, shade. It has a tiny bit of shimmer in it, I think. Maybe not. I thought it did. Maybe that's just in the packaging. I don't know. I thought it did. If not, that's fine with me. But So yeah, this is the chocolate cherry shade. So these are all the lip glosses it comes with. And in my opinion, like these are amazing, essential, everyday colors. And I feel like... With all of these palettes, even the palettes that have the fun colors, like the yellows and the pinks and the blues and the fun colors, they all have everyday wearable colors. And even the fun colors in these palettes are very wearable. Like there's blues and pinks and yellows and corals, but they're beautiful wearable colors. They're not like super neon. And neon colors are beautiful too. But these are more like everyday wearable, more toned down colors and I love them. So I think the colors that they picked to put um, for their lip glosses in here um, was very, very smart. I think a gloss is really smart because, you know, I don't know, glosses in the winter time, I'm, I'm loving it because I got really dry lips here in the United Kingdom. It's terrible. Um, so yeah, these are just absolutely beautiful. You have your everyday colors. And even this is like an everyday color depending on what you're wearing. I'm going to try one on my lips right now. I'm gonna try this nudie color because I'm not wearing much makeup, so I don't wanna put like a lot. So let's see. And mind you, this is on top of a lipstick, so. Oh, I have a hiccup, sorry. Obviously, it's a gloss, so it's gonna be a little sheer, but I think it did a good job covering up that kind of corally brightish pink I was wearing and it feels comfortable it doesn't feel sticky like nothing is like you know pulling apart it feels comfortable and it feels very natural looking and that's what I like I like that it's natural looking because then you can use you can wear like a colorful eye look and have a nudie color to pair it with <sighs> all right so that is everything for you guys that is the whole chocolate vault collection we have these palettes we have these palettes um we have these two face palettes and then we have these three beautiful very wearable lip glosses that i personally love um so far let me just say that I haven't tried anything on my eyes yet, so I will definitely do videos in the future. Let me know what palettes you want to see me use, and I will definitely use them. And um, then we'll see how they last on the eyes. But for now, just watching them and seeing how, um, just seeing how they do, like swatching and blending on my hand, they all did a really, really, really good job. And I feel like the formula is very buttery. It's creamy. I feel like it's going to blend well. I feel like it's going to last pretty well as long as you use the eye primer. Um, there's only one palette that I had trouble with, but besides that, I really like the formula and I think the price point, whether you buy them separately or as a vault, is just absolutely like amazing. You really can't complain. So that's crazy. That's a drugstore affordable brand that has pretty good quality things and really nice packaging and really put a lot of effort and thought into this collection. Like they definitely really put a lot of thought into this. Um, the face palettes are absolutely amazing. Um, and the lip products I'm still playing around with, but... I put one on top of my lipstick and I really, really like it. I actually like it better with what I'm wearing than what I was wearing earlier. In that case, I would have to say that I do really, really love these products, but we'll just have to see when I wear them on my eyes. But as, as of right now, I have a good feeling and I really, really like these products and they work for me. If they don't work for you, I'm sorry, but I really like these and I think they're affordable. Um, the vault was like 40 pounds, but, but um, what was I going to say? 
but um, the worth of the vault is like a hundred pounds. I don't know how much it is in America. It's probably like 50 or 60. I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick still. <laughs> I hope you weirdos really like this video. I know I've been doing a lot of makeup stuff lately, but um, I have been doing a lot of challenges as well. So make sure to go watch um, my hair tie challenge. It's pretty funny and I was a little tipsy off of wine. Not too much, but I had a lot of fun filming it. So if you want, go check that out. That would mean a lot to me. And also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what products you want to see me use in the future. So thank you weirdos so, so much for watching. Let me know if you have this chocolate vault and if you love it or if you don't like it, pros and cons, if you got this for a gift for someone, just let's talk makeup in the comment section. So, thank you weirdos so, so, so much for watching and supporting me in everything that I do and I will see you guys in my next video.